Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick country blues guitar lesson on a song called Broken Hungry, recorded in the late 1920s by Blind Lemon Jefferson. I think it was 1927 he, or uh, 28 he recorded it for Paramount Records. I may be wrong, but yeah, it's a moot point anyway. Um, anyway, it's a great song to learn because it really, compared to most of Blind Lemon Jefferson's material, it's fairly easy to be able to play and sing at the same time. And uh, if you've heard any of his recordings, which, by the way, if you haven't listened to much of them, go check them out and go down that rabbit hole because it's it's worth checking out. Um, but if you've heard any of his material, if you're a guitar player or even not, you might have noticed that it's really uh, tricky to uh, even fathom. It still behooves me to this day, you know. I've just started to really figure out, and he's been one of my favorite guitarists for years now. But uh, how he's able to just play uh, all of these really tricky and intricate and just plain damn cool um, guitar lines on the, the treble strings, the bass strings, and, uh, you know, right hand, left hand, strumming, tremolo picking, uh, and using the entire fretboard while he's doing it, and singing on top of it like nothing unusual is going on. I mean, it's, it's really uh, unbelievable. Um, but with this tune... Uh, Broken Hungry, it's uh, it's a really nice tune. Um, it just sounds nice, uh, you know, like most of his recordings do. And again, it's fairly easy to be able to pro pull off. Not easy, exactly. It's it's like an intermediate, uh, intermediate to advanced song, uh, but it's, uh, it's a great one to learn. So I'm going to teach it today. It's in standard tuning, which if you're... Uh, if you're not in tune with me. If you're not in tune, then um, by all means skip the part of this video and uh, go tune with an electric electronic tuner if you have one. I don't really care, but um, in case you need it, I'll uh, you can tune up with me right now. So here is the low E string. Here's your A string. Your D string. Your G. Your B string. And your high E string. And the song's in the key of G. Um, now the chords are pretty uh, easy, I would say, pretty standard um, for the most part. You've got a first position G chord right here. You've got kind of a partial four chord. You could say it's a C major seventh, um, but I like to say it's a G6 just because um, if you look at it from a, a literal standpoint, it, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a G6 chord because you're uh, taking your middle finger um, planted on the fifth, sh the fifth fret. Uh, sorry, the second fret of the fifth string. Tongue twist. Um, and you're moving that down to the second fret of the D string, which is an E, and is a six in the uh, G major scale. So, and you're blocking the uh, fifth string out with the uh, the nail of your middle finger because you're really not using it at all and by extension of that you've got a four chord just the same uh, g6 shape with the uh, first fret of the b string added the c and again you're still blocking that fifth string out uh, and then you've got a partial five chord here and what that is is it's a uh, C major, it's a C seventh shape moved up two frets to a D seventh. That's the fourth fret of the D string. That's the third fret of the B string, and the fifth fret of the uh, high E string. And I've got my um, ring finger here planted on the fifth fret of the G string, which is a C, making it a uh, dominant seventh of the uh, D chord. 
and you don't have to add that seventh, but uh, I, I like to because it's it makes it more uh, just full and um, fat and beefy, I guess. Uh, so those are all, well, most of your chords that you're going to be using for the song, but there's also these pretty cool shapes here that you're going to use for the turnaround, which are the fifth fret of the, you got the D on the A note here, it's the fifth fret. And then you take uh, this shape here, this uh, G major chord, fourth fret of the G, second fret, of, I mean, third fret of the, the G, and you're just moving that chromatically down, so fifth fret, fourth fret, third fret, and then open G chord. And that's a really cool used one, because he uses that in the key of G, too, which is the uh, uh, relative minor to G. Um, it's not really, he doesn't really play an E minor, but... Um, E. It's it, it, that's a whole separate tangent. So um, those are all your chords, pretty much. Um, first position G, G six, uh, C, D seventh, and then these. I don't really know what to call those, but they're cool, so use them. Um, and then as far as the right hand goes, it's a combination sort of of. Uh, alternating bass in your um, your two fingers or one finger whatever you prefer to use picking out the treble notes and sort of his signature lemon Jefferson strumming technique which um, it's hard to say exactly how he does that but it's uh, you can you know up with your index finger down with your uh, thumb for the part like I said you're gonna to want to alternate the bass for the most part and strum sort of in between that so I am broken hungry red and dirty too I kind of improvised on that. Um, didn't expect to, but I just kind of did on the spur of the moment. Um, but all of those lines I played, um, they're pretty easy to play within the uh, chord progression, I think. 
And like I said, rhythmically and melodically, they match up to the uh, vocal melody pretty well. Uh, anyway, so you're going to start off on the, um, the beginning of uh, the uh, chorus by... Uh, I am... You're going to stumble that um, bass there a little bit. So you're going to go from the... the uh, using the chord, remaining in that from the uh, sixth spring the sixth string to the uh, fifth string and then you're going to do that little chromatic line going from the open d string leading into the second fret chromatically into the uh, g6 you're going to alternate that bass a little bit and then you're going to go into that little melody line there which is which is chromatically down from the the B the third fret on the B string to the first fret the C that's going da, 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 da. and then you're going to be doing that little um that little bend on the G string on the third fret to the that would be the minor third to the major third so you're bending from the third fret of the G to the open B string Meantime, you're going to be alternating that bass. So that's da, da, da. so it's like sixth string, it's the uh, the D on the B string. Then you're going to be pinching the uh, the D and the uh, flat five on the second fret of the B. bottom sixth string and then when you go to that you're gonna pinch the D and the B string open and then back to the bottom string so all in all that's uh and then uh, when he's not singing in between the um, lyrics you're gonna go go on uh, that version of the you're gonna go on octave down same notes um, the minor third and the major third from the second fret of the, of the a string to the um, first fret to the second fret and then you're just gonna kind of strum it out I am broken hungry you're gonna do that same thing there uh, except we're going to go to the four chord. And you're going to do a little falsetto. I'm not great at falsetto. You might not be either. You can just kind of feel it out if you're not. But, um... Ragged and dirty too. You're going to do that same thing there. Same thing you've been playing. And then strum it out and then go to the five chord mom if i clean, mom, oh, mom if i clean up can i spend the night with you mom if i clean up can i spend the night with you and uh on the you, you can uh slide up if you want to which is i think is really cool kind of strum that and back to that same old thing right there I am mother's fatherless sister and brotherless too mother's fatherless sister and brotherless too Reason I travel so hard is to make this trip with you. And then you can do that turnaround um, as you would like to do. On uh, and 
kind of what I'm doing there is I'm using that same shape from before. Doing the bass string. So it's bass, treble, and down. Down again. Then you strum the chord like so. Some variations you can do is this cool little. You can play around with that a little bit. That's a uh, the second fret of the uh, G string to the third fret. You do that little hammer on there, and then you hammer on off all of it. Sort of like you do an E on like Catfish Blues or something, except you're doing it in G. And he does that in a lot of his other tunes in G2, uh, especially Got the Blues and uh, that Crawling Babies Blues, which are brilliant recordings as well. And then... Um... You can sort of mess around in the G Blues box too, or... Uh, pretty much all there is to it. Um, I would say uh, take what I've taught you here, listen to the original recordings a few times if you wish, and uh, learn the lyrics, and uh, there you have it. So uh, I hope that lesson was helpful, entertaining, educational, all of that stuff. And uh, if you enjoyed, I would be more than happy to upload more lessons in the future. So uh, yeah, that's it for today. Bye-bye.